Hey everyone and welcome to the 13th floor. This will be the first level in the VCI section, which is the final section of the game. There are three levels in total, obviously this one, Escape with the Iris, and Red Alert. You getting this? Whoa baby, I'm getting too much of that. Looks like the Hulk on steroids. You want to tell me what it's doing here? Couldn't be sure. I hear that DC guys working on some new suit for the military. And that sure as mom's apple pie ain't no civilian protection. Can't argue with that. And the guns? Well, my picture ain't all that clear, but it looks like low frequency laser weapons, limited range. If you get in the way of one, then they'll have to take you out in a plastic sack. I get the picture. So yeah, there are quite a lot of cutscenes, but basically you slide down, cutscene, then turn left, you do have to go this way. There's a secret this way. Um, there's also an item which, um, which isn't actually mandatory, though a lot of people might think of it as being mandatory. I'll explain more when I get there. Okay, um, go this way. There's a secret this way. Not the most, not the best hidden secret in the world. I mean, yeah, you could argue that somebody might not know that you're meant to shoot those things to break them. But then, seeing as we shot one on the way here, you know, it doesn't really take a genius. Come to the bottom of the slope, wait for the laser to move, and then crawl up. There are quite a lot of lasers, as well as human enemies. This section probably will be the hardest in the game, due to the high number of human enemies who all have guns, not to mention all the traps and lasers and everything. So this section probably is my favourite in the game. i to get as close as possible without putting myself at risk. Just crawl and you should be okay. Then come here. Wait until the laser is here and literally wait until it just leaves. So obviously you don't want to take any damage. This section, there are a lot of bits where you do take an awful lot of damage. So you want to maintain as much health as possible. Then we go here for a few items. Um, ignore the, these things that are empty, just go for the ones that have stuff on them. They're the ones that have items. Ammo, which is actually handy, even though it's a no kills run, ammo is still useful because you still need to use it against solid objects and stuff like that. Yeah, there's the item, which you might think the hammer, you might think it's mandatory, but actually it isn't, because there's a bit where you um, need to, meant, meant to use a hammer to smash through a gate, but actually you don't need to use it, there's an alternative way, which I'll demonstrate when I get there. Now it's back to the way we came. Basically, now you go back to the start, but you go the other way instead. 
the way I, I didn't go. Now we can stand here. And how far does the laser come? Not very. Basically, wait for it to come over, then wait for it to start leaving, and then jump forward. Oh! Right, that's how you do a very, very, very basic jump. You press the jump button and forward sim simultaneously. It would appear I must have pressed forwards first or something, because I went straight into the pit. Oh well, anyway, I, I, I actually forgot about that large medipack. Fortunately, I managed to see it when I was coming back. Um, so yeah, now it's back to the beginning, but unfortunately some lasers have appeared um, since being there. And so we have to be a bit stealthy. This whole section requires being stealthy, to be honest. Also requires thinking outside the box as well. I'll um, go into more details bit later on. So basically you've got two lasers. You've got a low one which comes closer but doesn't go as far away. You've got a high one which doesn't come as close but goes further away. And um, basically the way to do this is you want to, when the higher one comes towards you, you want to run so that you're almost touching it, wait for the then wait for it to go away, wait for the close wait for the lower one to come towards you and then jump over it. And then run and then crouch. So that you're safe from the big one. Because the big one, the high one, does go all the way down. So wait for the small one, the low one, to come. Then when it leaves, go forwards. Good. Now be careful here though, because the high one does come here, so you need to wait for it to start leaving, then climb. Because it will get you while you're climbing if you're not good if you're not if you don't time it right. So yeah, that's Zip, a guy who's helping us out. He is a bit of a weirdo, but he does good. Uh, yeah, so basically the hammer... Basically, you've got that guy down there, and in front of us is a gate, and we're meant to... Well, presumably, we're meant to think that, well, we just use the hammer to smash through. Alternatively, you could shoot the ground, stand here, shoot the ground, the whole thing collapses, and then you can get through without needing the hammer. And actually, if you go down, there is actually a small medipack, and every little helps. So I, I am doing it this way. Slide down, hop back, hop back, jump forwards, and again, jump back, problem solved. Oh yeah, and some random explosions kick in as well. Uh, make sure they don't touch you because they do blow you up. Well, set fire to you. Yeah, small medibag. Every little helps, especially in this section. There's so many bits that cost you health. There's like so many shooters, so many traps, those machine gun things. There's just so much. So every little helps, even if it is just a small medibag. So yeah, the laser goes through there, it seems. I just came up here for some ammo, and now we're going to climb. Unfortunately, we can't climb it on this side. If 
we could, we'd be completely safe, but we have to climb it on this side. Basically, go as far right as possible, because obviously it's coming from the left, and the further right you are, obviously the further it has to travel and the longer it has to take. Wait for it to start moving. Slight, slight touch. I think I was a tiny bit too slow. I'm going to carefully walk because there is a guy who I don't want to alert immediately. Um, basically, he, when if he sees you, he runs and sets off an alarm, which sets off a built-in machine gun behind you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for him to pass, then I'm going to shoot that. Then I'm just going to leg it. Because if I was to just go straight down, I would then have to shoot it, which would take a split second or so. And I could take more damage, because the guy down there could start shooting me while I'm trying to crawl through. Now I'm going to walk, um, even though the guy might shoot, um, you'll lose far far less health than if you run and wake this guy up. Actually no, he's running into the, he's trying to run into the crawl space it would appear, um, so I'll just leave him to it. Yeah, when you get in here you can start running, um, and when I leave I'm going to walk again as well because, like I said, I don't want to wake him up and then get shot. I know if I walk, the other guy might shoot me, but it's probably going to be the lesser of two evils. Um, so, yeah. Um, though, you do return here in a bit, and when you do, um, that guy is actually awake, but oh well. Fortunately, the glass protects you from the other shooter anyway, and he can't actually come here as well due to some lasers that's blocking the way. Um, so yeah, press this button, and um, when you're in when you're in the elevators, never ever save. Apparently, there's a glitch where if you save in an elevator, sometimes if you reload, the doors won't open. There's a lot of glitches in this um, section where if you save at a certain point it can glitch you and cause you to get stuck or not be able to complete the level or something. That's why it's very important to have multiple save game files when you're doing this section. So we go in here. Um, whatever you do, do not get your guns out. If you get your guns out it will threaten those guys in orange and then a built-in machine gun thing will come down and start shooting you. And when I came out the lift, I was walking because I didn't want to trigger those two guys over there, at least not immediately, but now I do want to trigger them. I want to lure them over. And I'll use the block to my advantage. Wait for them to come. Leg it into here. The enemies don't seem to be able to make it into here. I guess it's, I guess it's just out of bounds. Come here, button on the left, furthest away. Then pick up the thing it drops. And I want to get the guys as far away from the lift as possible. And so I'm actually going to wait here for them because they can come here, they will slowly make their way over and I just want to get them as far away from the lift as possible because 
obviously it takes a few seconds for me to, um, you know, like get in the lift and push the button. I don't want to be shot while I'm doing that. Again, use the block to your advantage. You can seek protection behind it. Now we return and the sleeping guy is woken up. Um, literally, just, just leg it. You are going to get shot, unfortunately. And now we can do this. Now it's the random explosions. Personally, I don't bother with the rope. I just do it that way. Just about made it. <laughs> I don't bother with the rope, I just do it that way. It's far less hassle, even if it does cost a tiny bit of health. And this bit is actually quite tricky. About the bit coming up. Uh oh, you want to have to play some fancy moves to get past this quarterback. You got any suggestions? Anything to distract him? I got a suggestion right here. Go find a different way out, because you don't want to. Yeah, um, normally you would use the chloroform to take him out, but um, I consider it to be a kill, because although chloroform doesn't kill you, they do go to the ground and their bodies do dissolve, like they would as if you killed them, and that, in my eyes, makes it a kill, so unfortunately we have to sneak past, which is quite tricky, because those guys are very powerful, their guns can kill you in one, particularly when they get a good a good aim. But um, there is a way around it. You can run down the stairs, but when you get down here, start walking, and do not get too close to the guy. Because you don't want to trigger him yet. You do need to trigger him, but not yet. Because obviously you can't just walk and put the and swipe the key card because he'll see you and he'll shoot you. I'll continue to walk. Then we go in here where there's some bugs that are in glass cages and they do break free, but they don't last forever. They dissolve. The bugs just disappear after a while. You got two cupboards. The one on the left. They always seem to break free when you're going in there, so go in the so go in this one first. And they should break through as I'm going through this one. There you go. They're not as bad as the Scarabs in Tomb Raider 4, because they last, like, forever, but these ones disappear after time. Okay, now I want to trigger that guy. Um, when, when you shoot, it seems to spawn another one. 
if you just run around, it only seems it seems to sometimes only trigger that one. So don't shoot. Make movement. Did that trigger him? Probably not. Music would have played if it had. Okay, I need to be a bit louder than that. Okay, I did that did not work. That guy is mandatory. We have to pick up the item he drops. Uh, where is it? Uh, where's the item? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he drops that item, which you have to use here. Um, that's basically how you do that bit. Although I did foul at it, you have to basically go close to the guy, lure him into where the insects are, and then when he comes out, well, when, when, he, when he goes there, basically leg it, put the thing in, leg it, and then kill the guy who's mandatory. As for this bit, crouch down so that guy can't see you. Let him walk a bit. Then get up. Follow him, but don't get too close. wait for him to pass. Now this ain't gonna be easy. This door operates on that pass you got, except it needs two inserted at the same time. Meaning what, exactly? Meaning, against your better judgment, try not to go killing that guy, because we need him, yeah? Unfortunately, if we want the secret, we have to kill him. Don't shoot. Quickly. Don't shoot. Yeah. If we want the secret, you have to kill him. If it was a standard no kills run, leave him alive. But seeing as it's a secret no kills run, we need the secret. So come in like I did. Take shelter here because those guys out there will some, will shoot you if they get the chance, and then obviously kill him because you have to kill him in order to get uh, the secret. That's what I mean about you have to think outside the box. See, I never would have thought to do that. It was only when I was watching an LP that I realised what to do. This way is harder, there's no questioning in it. This way is definitely harder. That bit wasn't very pretty, but when you're doing a no kills run, that bit is never pretty. <laughs> I mean, the laser takes health, the gunman takes health, 
but we we have to do something, and I just legged it through the laser. <laughs> I was quite lucky, really. It didn't kill me. Um, you can actually, if you you can actually get through the glass here, but it, it, it's a glitch, so I'm going to have to do it the long way. Stuff. I've messed up, I'm not making that. I don't think I would have done anyway. I'm not sure, I may have made it, I didn't want to risk it, I messed up a bit. I didn't want to take any risks, because that stuff does kill you if it touches you. Too slow. Okay, made it that time. Um, so yeah, I've got my gun, I've got my headset, uh, six small, four large, that may have changed with me obviously having to catch up off camera and stuff, hammer which I never used, the, the three or three secrets, and this which I never used. So yeah, I believe there were two kills in total, and that brings us to the end of this level. And then, obviously, on to Escape with the Iris, the second last level in the game. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll just save. And, yeah, hope to see you in Escape with the Iris.